if you like racing games, I think you'll like this one. Uh, Retro Fuel is another entry from the DOS Spring Games Jam of Spring 2021. And it's a really great implementation of a DOS racing game. I'd like to show it off to you here. So they say that Retro Fuel is like a classic console racer, similar to the Lotus series on personal computers. I actually would compare it a little bit more like uh, Pole Position in the arcade. That was one of my favorite arcade games at the time. Uh, do a directory. There's a, uh, it's a pretty small application. So we've got a couple of data files, a couple of executable files, and then the play batch file. So we're gonna go ahead and run play. And here we are in retro fuel. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to get started. And here's our main menu. So some things we can do here, obviously we can start a new race. Uh, we can change the length, which we will do in a minute. Uh, we can change the shifting. So I'm going to leave it as auto shifting, but you can also do manual shifting. Uh, but sound, it actually has sound support. It supports uh, ad lib and sound blaster. So we are actually going to get sound in this game. Uh, and then the read this, the will actually contain some information around the controls. And so the arrow keys are going to be accelerate, brake, left and right. And then you can use control to activate your boost. If you're doing manual shifting, A and Z will gear up and down. So let's go ahead and uh, use uh, enter to get through that. And there's an ad for another game, uh, uh, Death Taxi by the same person. And let's go ahead and change the length of the race. Uh, so as I said, it's got three different race uh, lengths. So you can do normal, Grand Prix. We're actually going to go with the next one, which is short, which is just uh, three laps. Let's go ahead and start a new race up here. And uh, we have a couple of different cars to choose from. We have blue, uh, yellow, uh, silver, and red. I guess, you know what, let's go ahead and start with red to get started. Uh, three different courses, uh, easy, medium, and hard. Let's uh, Let's try this one on easy. There we go, there's our sound to get us started. Up to the left here. Reason games on DOS were never really my thing, so I'm not very good at them. Um, but I'm not going to place first, and that's okay. It's this guy. Right, I'm in fifth position. So now we're on lap two. Can I pass you? Mm -hmm. Fourth position coming up at the end of the lap here. Now the final lap. Wiggins my boost. My boost again. Let's see if I can pass this guy before I hit the finish line. No, just barely didn't make it. So we'll go ahead and hit escape to get out of that. So that was the, uh, it was pretty close there on that one, at least to getting uh, up that second place. Let's try another race. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave us on uh, short and we'll try a new race. And this time let's try, well, let's try the, the yellow car. And we'll try this on the medium track. I think they did a really good job here on the graphics. A great job on that. Okay. Not run into the trees with the signs. Anyway.
the racing games just they weren't really my thing at least not this one at DOS but this style but it was uh, this is as I say extremely well done I love the graphics I love the uh, the time of day uh, the track design I think is done really well um, my my not doing well in this game is purely because uh, game, uh, driving games racing games like this uh, I just didn't play a lot of them here we go into the final lap. Let's see if I, I'm in position four. Let's see if I can at least get to position three by the end. Although I admit I'll be happy if I just don't crash into trees by the time I'm done. Here's a little boost here. No, 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 no. Don't run into the signs. Boost. Oh, can I can I get ahead of you before? No, I can't. All right, so that's the end of that race. Not bad. Uh, finished in fourth place, but you know it's not bad. I think for uh, what I've been doing for the tests here, let's go ahead and back out of that. We'll try one more race. Uh, for this one, let's go ahead and run the uh, let's go run the silver car here. Um, uh, let's run a nice little race car. Let's run the the blue car with the sort of I'll call it the go faster stripe. We'll play this on the hard track. A lot of uh, back and forth on this one, so we'll go ahead and hit return on hard. And here it is in night, which I think is a really great graphical effect. See my headlights lighting up the uh, road ahead of me and the car in front of me. Okay, a lot of back and forth on this one. Let's see how I can do tap the I do like the way that they did the graphics in this one with the nighttime mode, the headlights. It's just kind of a neat effect. Great job on this. Don't run into the trees. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I get past this guy? First lap. That was that was the end of lap one. That's a long track. Tap them again. Oh, this guy's really blocking me off. A little boost here. On a track this long, I think you definitely need to watch your uh, your uh, fuel. Although, if I can get off the trees, that would be nice. All right, what's going on here? Am I taking damage? I think I took damage. Because now my car is turning left. I can't seem to get off of turning left. What's going on? All right. You know what? I'm going to end it here because I can't seem to go any further. I don't know what's going on. Let's, let's try to maybe boost and see if I get out of there that way. Nope. It wants to turn left. I think I damaged my car. It's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. So anyway, that is uh, Retro Fuel, and I think it's a really great uh, DOS racing game. If you like DOS racing games, uh, give that one a try. Uh, you can see the exit screen here it tells you a little bit about the uh, the project and uh, where to go. And I'll put a uh, link in the video description so you can download Retro Fuel for yourself. Uh, before I go, I want to thank everyone who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. I really appreciate your support. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you especially here for that. So thank you again for there. Uh, visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.